consent. It's not just on what you do to show them it's a, that you're going to pet him again. And if they like it, it's a matter of are you doing the right thing for make them want to do it more. Did you get stoned? Do you want more? Where'd that tail wag go? Oh, you do? Right there? Sometimes when you ask and you let them choose, they're going to show you how to do it properly. Isn't that beautiful? So if I wasn't doing it right, so if I'm over here trying to do one specific thing. Blue's going to tell me how he really wants to be petted. And if this is what he's showing me that he wants done, why would I want to stop? Maybe because emotionally and chemically, because this feels good, it actually can, <clears throat> they'll actually have their fill. But I don't think you can really have too much fill of having care and proper touch, especially when they ask for it. This is Scott with effective dog behavior, effective neuroscience, and social neuroscience and behaviors. Building a stronger relationship through behaviors <laughs> that they want repeated. Helping them feel safe using emo primary emotional systems. Have a great day. Think about how you pet your dog and how they want to be petted when you do a consent test. Don't second guess yourself. Recognize what body language they're going to show you on how they want to be petted.